the much-anticipated GTA 6 is finally nearing a release date. While we still do not know when the game will launch, we have at least received an announcement that they are ready to make an announcement. It is hard to believe, but GTA 5 launched as a PS3 and Xbox 360 game. It was then remastered for PS4 and Xbox One. With the launch of the Xbox series and PS5, it once again received another release. After more than 10 years, fans are finally ready for a new experience. Despite the long wait, I do at least understand why Rockstar took so long. GTA 5 is arguably one of the most successful games in video game history. On sales alone, they have shipped over 190 million copies worldwide. The baseline story alone is one of the most highly praised ever. However, it is not with the single-player mode that GTA makes their money. While video game sales alone have put the profits in the billions, it is the online mode where they really shine. GTA Online, on any given day, can be considered just as successful as AR with their FIFA Intimate Team system. GTA Online has expansions, shark cards, and just about anything else that you can think of. The 8 billion that GTA 5 has made in sales is nothing compared to what they have made in online sales. It is reported that the online version of the game makes over $500 million every year. Considering that they have over 100,000 active players online each month, it is easy to believe this number. However, if you know anything about corporate greed, you also know that the bar has been set. With big studios and production companies like this, you can never go down. You are expected to grow forever. If you make $10 in the first year, $100 in the second year, and $80 in the third, you are considered in trouble. Why? Because you went from $100 to $80. They do not care that you are $70 above the first year. You can never go down, and you must grow forever. GTA 5 sold 190 million copies and generated over $8 billion. Take 2 and Rockstar likely won't focus on the 190 million copies but will focus on the $8 billion. If they cannot make that money through sales, they will try and make it in another way. Enter the current Take 2 boss, who had a very interesting interview regarding video game prices. The CEO stated that games should be priced on a per hour basis. In an interview, he said, in terms of pricing for any entertainment property, basically, the algorithm is the value of the expected entertainment usage, which is to say that the per hour value times the number of expected hours plus the terminal value that's perceived by the customer in ownership if the title is actually owned, not, say, rented or subscribed to. And you'll see that that bears out in every kind of entertainment vehicle. By that standard, our frontline prices are still very, very low because we offer many hours of engagement. I will simply say this, $70 is a lot of money to pay for a game. In most cases, gamers end up paying more. No matter the value that you get, it is a high price. With companies now riddling their games with microtransactions and deluxe editions, games can often end up costing way more than the $70 asking price. For a while now, there have been concerns that GTA 6 might be extremely expensive. Some rumors suggest that the base game will set you back at least $120. While I did not believe that rumor in the beginning, I am starting to think that it might be true. While none of this is confirmed, my prediction is that GTA 6 will have more than one version at release. They will have a standard version for $70 that is stripped of most content. Then, they will have a gold and deluxe version that contains content that should have been in the base game. I hope this prediction is off, but I believe that this will be their release strategy. We recently saw Blizzard follow this model with Diablo 4, and Take 2, can be just as bad with pricing. Over the years, GTA has built up a relatively good reputation with fans. While they have stumbled along the way with re-releases of GTA 5 and Shark Cards, most people are still massive fans. Their recent remaster of classic GTA games did see Rockstar have to backtrack a bit, and hopefully, that backlash will make them realize that they can't get away with absolutely anything. Despite the concerns around pricing, there is also still much hype for GTA 6. No matter what, it will likely be one of the biggest releases in video game history. Not even the hype of Cyberpunk and Elden Ring will come close to the next Rockstar release. However, with a lot of hype comes a lot of expectation. People have high hopes for the next installment of this series. Just like publishers expect more money every year, gamers expect better content every year. With close to 10 years of development, by the time GTA 6 is released, 
the game will be in a great position to deliver something special. A couple of months ago, someone hacked Rockstar and released some gameplay. I never looked at the gameplay and will also not be sharing any of it here. However, that leak did indicate that they were busy with something big. Rockstar also made a few comments about the game in the past that might have some fans concerned. They previously stated that they are looking to become less offensive. When your game is called Grand Theft Auto, I am not sure how much toning down you can do. People play the game because of how free you are. Hopefully, that statement was taken out of context, and GTA 6 will be even crazier than any game before. Right now, everyone is eagerly awaiting the first trailer for the new game. Rockstar recently said in a statement, next month marks the 25th anniversary of Rockstar Games. Thanks to the incredible support of our players worldwide, we have had the opportunity to create games we are truly passionate about. Without you, none of this would be possible, and we are so grateful to all of you for sharing this journey with us. In 1998, Rockstar Games was founded on the idea that video games could come to be as essential to culture as any other form of entertainment, and we hope that we have created games you love in our efforts to be part of that evolution. We are very excited to let you know that in early December, we will release the first trailer for the next Grand Theft Auto. We look forward to many more years of sharing these experiences with all of you. Thank you. For now, all we can do is wait for this much-anticipated release.